What is up YouTube? Uh, this is actually going to be my first ever shoe review. Um, I think it's only fitting that I do this on a shoe that I actually love. I've, I, have, I have had four versions of the version 1s, one of which I had to send back because of a colour distortion, which I'll talk about later. Uh, but I currently still have three of the version 1s of the uh, Nike, or if you're American, Nike, Epic React uh, Flynet, which are insane. Yeah, so yeah, let's get this box open. I only got these yesterday. They're not even on general sale yet. I got them through the Nike Plus app and I checked the Nike website. They're not there. So yeah, this was like a members only thing and they got them ahead of official release, which is insane. So let's get this box open and have a look at the Nike, or Nike if you're American, Epic React Flynet uh, 2 in the 8 bit colorway, which is class. So as you can see, the box still sealed, not even opened. Let me get into this thing. So yeah, it said uh, it said eight bit colorway when I was ordering them, but the color on the actual invoice is hydrogen blue, hydrogen blue sapphire. I got a size ten and a half US and the UK at nine and a half US. That's the perfect size for me in next shoes. Actually, not that I've had these in the house for a day and haven't even opened them because uh, I love shoes. So let's get it. How sick are they? Look, all of the colors. They are. <laughs> They're actually better in person than what they were in the photo. Uh, the photo the Nike showed made them look a little bit more white, but they are what they call them a hydrogen blue, which I'm actually happy about because they have the phantom whites in the version ones. I can already see some uh, differences in them. Uh, still very minor differences, but at the end of the day, they were a really, really good shoe. Like, I still love the version ones. So, didn't have too much to change, but sold. Well, obviously, I've already got them. So I'm gonna go out now and get some little bits of content. It's quite late here in Ireland. It's now four forty, and it's January, so there's not too much light left. But I'll try and get some light. So I'm gonna put these on, get a little bit of content, give you guys a bit better visual of the shoes, a little bit of a montage, and then we'll get back and we'll talk about the differences and what I think of these. So let's go. Till I get up, time is barely on our side I don't want to waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't want to waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways And on I hope you guys enjoyed that little uh, edit montage, whatever you want to call it, but it's going to give you guys a little bit more of a feeling to how the shoes will actually look on a person and in the real world, uh, as opposed to just me sitting here and showing you them. I had to get that recorded in literally like 10 minutes because like I said, it's Ireland here and that was like well after half four or whatever it was, and the sun was going down and it was getting dark, so we had like literally a few minutes to get that. So uh, it'll do, but if I'm going to keep making these, I will get better at making the little edits and montages. But yeah, let's dial straight in to getting this shoe off my foot that I've been wearing for a while now, uh, over the day. I'm going to do some comparisons between the version 1s and the version 2s. Uh, but like I said before, there isn't much, just minor changes. So, here we go. V2s, what are the changes, right? I'm going to show you my version 1s, the diffused ones. The Nike Switch, as you can see, here, stuck on. Here, it's a little bit longer. It's still stuck on, but it has this embroidered edge around it, which I kind of actually like. The heel support at the back is this canvas big one on the version 1s. On the version 2s it's this little minimal plastic thing which I actually do like as well. It feels like it's going to have more support to either side, uh, but it just doesn't come up as high at the back. But they do have support in the inside to counter that. 
the lace grips, the little rubber bits here that goes up beside, this is all one solid piece, so as it pulls tight, it's going to pull uh, tight the whole way up. Where here they have two parts, they have a bottom and a top, so bottom four, top four. Uh, it might make for a comfier ride, but I didn't really feel any different when I was wearing them. And I think that is all the changes that I could actually see, it's just those three things. But like I said, I really, really love the version ones. I have these ones, I also have the black with the pink. And I have the Phantom Whites, which are dirty. Uh, there is one change they didn't make, that I wish they did, and that was simply the tongue bit here. I do love the tongue, but the problem is, I don't know if you can see or not, but the fibres of your trousers, uh, just the fabric, over time they come off and do stain it a little, little bit, and it is hard to get off. So I kind of wish that they would have put this here into like a hard plastic or a bit of rubber, just so it didn't happen on the V2s, but they haven't. Uh, yeah, that's the one change I wish it did make, which it didn't. Shoe overall, uh, amazing shoe. Uh, like I said, I had I had four, and I have three because I had the same one back because of color distortion. Um, but the shoe overall was amazing. I loved the version ones. The version two is pretty similar. It didn't have much to change because it, it is such a comfy ride. It is so lightweight, and the Epic React uh, sole. Nike said they changed the foam for like their softest foam, bounciest foam ever. And honestly, it is. It's so soft. It's so supportive. I have the Adidas NMDs. They're also soft, but you can feel whatever train you're on. So they're not that comfortable to like run, walk, jump, or whatever. In uh, they are a comfortable shoe. But once you start going over terrain, you will feel whatever's below you. Where these here, it's so soft, and you don't feel the terrain. They do make for a nice roll when whatever you're running, but they are firm and supportive. Uh, breathable. Mash at the front because they have that flying at front with the with the mash bit here, and yeah. Just a really really comfortable shoe all around. As for the sole being like soft and springy, it does work quite a lot here, which I noticed from the version ones. But they do have the more durable front and back, which is your grip. If you're going to buy the Epic React Flynets, I would say don't buy based on version number. I would say buy, buy based on colorway. If they would have released this eight bit colorway, the hydrogen blue in the version ones, I would have jumped out and bought them. Uh, I jumped at these because of the color and not really because of the version number, because like I said, they're more or less similar, but. I loved the shoe so much, I'm kind of glad they didn't change too much about it. So yeah, if you're stuck between buying the version 1s or version 2s, I would suggest it was the same price, just buy based on whatever colorway you like. But all around, I love this shoe, and as a whole, the Epic React Flynet is just an amazing shoe. It's probably the, yeah, it is. It's the most impressed I've been with the next shoe in a long, long time. I've had like a lot of their free runs, a lot of their Flynets, and honestly, this is miles ahead of all of them. So I would probably give this shoe, if I'm honest, a 9 out of 10 all around. The only thing I don't like is this here, uh, distorting with the fibres of whatever trousers you're wearing, uh, or bottoms or tracksuits. Yeah, that's it. That's, the, oh, that's my only annoyance, is this little bit here. Apart from that, 9 out of 10, great shoe all around, and I highly would recommend. But buy based on colourway and the colour you like, not in the version number, because they are extremely similar. But they also are the same price, so yeah, love it. But anyway guys, that is my first ever shoe review on YouTube, I hope you liked it, and it is of course of one of my all time favourite Nike shoes, the Nike Epic React Flynet, uh, which is just yeah, an amazing shoe all around. So, hope you liked this video, thanks for watching, if you have any questions at all, let me know in the comments below, but honestly, get yourself a pair of these, you will not regret it.